What's up guys, Lore here today, we're taking a look at just the tip of gun slugs. This is a, uh, a shoot 'em up a side-scrolling shoot 'em up created by Orange Pixel, which is the same group that made um, Meganoid, which was a game that I obviously enjoyed quite a bit. It's available on both iOS and Android. Uh, on iOS, it is $1.99, and on Android, it is $1.49, but there is a free ad-supported version available on Android as well that you can check out. Uh, I think that $1.49 price may actually be part of a sale, too. I'm not actually sure... Uh, I know that it used to be two sixty four, and when I went to grab it today, it was a dollar forty nine. So there you go; it might actually be cheaper than that. So let's check this thing out. Uh, from what I can understand, it's supposed to be very similar to a uh, like a metal slug sort of game, uh, but with randomly generated levels, which intrigues me quite a bit. So what we got here: Gun Chick or Johnny Rumble. I like the name Johnny Rumble. We're gonna go with that. The Black Duck Army has been busy on the abandoned plane yard. They've got beacons sending strange signals. Go check it out. By the way, the music is amazing. I'm digging that quite a bit. Alright. Okay, so that's how I shoot. Okay. Jump. There's a, a pause button in the middle there. That's cool. Oh, objectives. Take cover, deactivate first beacon, complete boot camp. Okay. Watch out for these landmines that explode when you step off. Shoot people, alright. Oh, nice. So I can take cover here, and if I hold forward and shoot, I'll actually shoot over it. That's cool. Deactivate all beacons in the area to continue. Move up to enter buildings. Whoa! Oh, I took some damage. Now go kick some ass. Working on it, boss. How do I... Oh, I jump. Okay. What's in here? What was the mine there? Oh! There's a lot of stuff on the screen. So this does support the, uh... Moga controller, like uh, like Meganoid does. Go away. And so far, I'm not. The, the on-screen controls aren't bad. They feel relatively responsive, but I'm definitely thinking that this would be a better experience on the Moga controller. So. Collecting ammo. I guess I just have an ammo meter. Not really a, a numerical listing of how much ammo I have. Every once in a while, it's a little bit slow to actually let me turn around. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I can just hold down the shoot button too. I've been tapping it this whole time, so that's good to know. trying to yeah apparently it's just when I'm tapping is when I because you see how I'm like stopping for a second it doesn't seem to happen as as pronounced at least when I'm just holding down the button so that that was what that was that was just me doing it wrong controls do feel very very slightly slippery not not too bad but still a little bit it's noticeable at least Alright, so I've suggests or successfully, suggestively, I've suggestively, yes, done all of, all of whatever that is. Alright, so, uh, one missions in one run, collect 75 coins, grab a new weapon. Oh, okay. Do definitely like the cover mechanic quite a bit. That's a, a cool implementation. I seem to have no problem just wading into a ton of these guys either, which is a bit odd, I guess. It may just be because I'm in earlier levels or something. Seems to be no, no shortage of uh, health pickups at all either. But how did I not? There we go. Grab 
Grab their weapons if they drop them. Oh. Now I now I am going straight up John Woo Akimbo style. Oh, apparently I ran out of juice in that other weapon. Every once in a while you can hear the sound does get a little bit a little bit distorted just on account of there's a million things happening at once. If I continue, very rare. Is this guy gonna say things? Okay, well I bought a continue. Yeah, sound does get a little bit distorted sometimes. Oh, grenades. Oh, they bounce. Oh, and I got a two-way again. Very, very frenetic, I guess is a good way to put it. Lots of stuff going on all at once. get to the pickup area ASAP. Did you die when I shoot you? There we go. Did I miss any missions? Does not look like it. Get in the damn chopper! Alright. Two missions in one run. Make a chopper crash. Yo, DJ, drop that beat. What? Look alive, big badass at your location. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Apparently I can't move backwards while shooting forward. Definitely taking damage from that stuff. Oh. But it's cool, I'll just kill a bunch of guys and get a bunch of power-ups. Oh, no health power-up. Oh good, I got the two-way item. Alright, got that guy. Need health really bad, though. I don't... Apparently I didn't get an opportunity to clear any of those other... Yeah, I guess I just didn't get an opportunity to do any of those other ones. Oh, so it just moved the objectives on. Okay. The jungle. Black Tuck ground forces are moving heavy machinery through the jungle. Let's see if he can put a stop to it. All right. New soundtrack. Nice improvement from Meganoid, where it was the same soundtrack for the entire game. So one very important thing that I'm noticing... Oh, grenades, nice. Just kill ten enemies. Uh, one very important thing that I'm noticing is that you can actually... I need to find a way to make a chopper crash. You can actually um, just slide your thumb. You don't actually have to lift it to do different stuff. So that's very good makes the act of switching from jumping to shooting much easier. You just sort of slide your thumb to the to the right just a little bit. I'll regenerate you. Oh nice. There's a wizard apparently. Blah 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 blah. Alright. He said, you shall not pass, just kidding, I'll regenerate you. Nice guy, Gandalf. Always always really liked Gandalf. What's that? Flamethrower. Whoa, what's that? Get away, robot. Man, audio definitely glitching out a lot. A little bit... 
annoying. Oh, can I get in it? Oh, yeah. Not necessarily doing me any good, because I gotta get to that. Yeah, and I got knocked out of it. Seems to have regenerated my health, though, when I got in there. Alright, beacon's deactivated. Need to make a chopper crash at some point. Dudes everywhere! Oh, another one of these things. Maybe this one will actually be useful once I can get into it. Assuming I live long enough. Really? Oh good. Oh no! I'm dead! Continue, sure. Alright. Didn't really get anything done there. So that's just gonna roll over voodoo-tastic. I'm gonna end up with a whole bunch of missions that I can't actually do. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Had an opportunity to get that chopper, but screwed it up. Can't reach that one. What was this? Break this suit out? Leave no man behind. Well done saving that sorry ass. <laughs> Damn, having a real hard time actually killing any of these things. Now I'm going to be able to get in this thing and not do anything with it. Man, I need health pretty bad. Come back over here and deactivate this thing. What is this? 25 coins for... Am I in an arcade? What is this? Oh, what? I've died in the arcade, apparently. Damn monkey game. I don't, I don't understand what just happened. Some sort of mini game in there. Beacons deactivated. Damn it. This does feel like it would play a lot smoother on a MOGA controller. Which is not really oh man, I don't have a don't have a continue. New personal best 2364. Oh, and they're just supposed to be right at the back right back at the beginning. So I guess it's a see as far see how far you can get sort of thing. Looks like I unlocked somebody though. Sly Rocco. Alright, let's check this guy out. Oh no, I'm back in the jungle. Okay. Maybe it just starts you in different places sometimes? I wonder if there's anything different with these different guys. Or if it's just different, different people to play as. Yeah, I definitely feel like this would be a little bit smoother with a actual controller, which is 
to be expected, on-screen controls I don't think can ever be quite as good as uh, an actual handheld controller. But I definitely feel like I might like it more with the MOGA controller. I may, may hook that up and try it out here in a second. You shall not pass. Hi, hi, just kidding, I'll regenerate you. Thank you, sir. Again with the sound. Oh, I made a chopper crash. I don't know how, but I did it. I think I, I blew up the dude in that that made it crash. Alright, let's hop in this thing. Which I cannot jump in, so it's now stuck here. So, interesting game. Not quite as involved as I was hoping. Definitely an enjoyable game to play. Oh, what do you want? Buy some armor? Yes. I have armor now. I guess the armor takes damage instead of my health? Oh. The armor is about to be gone. That's cool, at least. Collect 100 coins. Yeah, I guess I was hoping for something a little bit more involved than this. Damn. Got wrecked. And no continue that time. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a second real quick and hook up the MOGA controller and see what sort of impact that has. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's, let's see how this works with the MOGA controller here, which I do now have hooked up, able to go through all this just like that. Go ahead and we'll do gun chick. Uh, apparently now we're starting on the plane yard, okay? Definitely feel the, the jumping and shooting feels a little bit better on the MOGA controller, for sure. Mostly just because I can just hold down the X button and just sort of rock my thumb over to A when I when I wanna jump. Cause there doesn't really seem to be any reason to not shoot most of the time. There's usually something on the screen. I guess I do have a limited amount of ammunition, but there's usually something in my line of fire anyway. Definitely feels a lot more responsive on the MOGA controller, though. So the on-screen controls, at least on Android, could use a little bit of work, I think. It, it just felt a little bit like, you can just sort of slide your thumb around, but it, it felt like there was a bit too much sliding you had to do. Like, it was a little too much distance to get from one, one button to another. So that was bothering me a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna bother buying armor. It seemed like a waste before. The missions are randomly generated, though, which is cool. Uh, it, it makes for some really nice uh, just pick-up-and-play action. 
Like I can at the very least always know I can I can launch gun slugs and get some uh, get something I haven't seen before. It's not just going through the same levels over and over and over again. So that's cool. Makes a makes a great way to uh, like if you just I need to kill a few minutes sort of situation. Sure, I'll load up gun slugs. So the missions almost seem very much like um, Jetpack Joyride, if you played that game. Uh, you just get random missions that you do alongside everything else. I wonder if there's any other sort of metagame to it. Because in Jetpack Joyride, at the very least, you can like use all the coins and stuff that you unlock to get stuff. It seems like the coins here are just used in... Uh, in each run, and since each run is randomly generated, oh, I made a plane crash again, or a chopper crash again. Since each each run just sort of seems to be self-contained, does make me worry a little bit that there may just not be. There we go. Oh, that must be Voodoo Tastic is getting that. But it does make me sh worry that there may not be a lot of longevity to this game. It might be something that you play for a little bit uh, and then get bored of eventually. I mean, like I said, it is. It is great for some real quick action. But I guess at the same time, depending on how you're good at the game, the action may not actually be that quick. Oh, I did not see what the, um... What is it? Blow up two dudes at once or air kill a dude. Okay. See how well I can do against this boss this time now that I have a little bit tighter controls. Yeah, definitely way easier with the MOGA controller. Don't really know how to if there's something that telegraphs that move that he does there. jungle again. Man, I really want to see if there's, uh, there's got to be more areas than just these two. I'm wondering if the boss in each of them is the same, if it's just random which ones I get. Like, like if the boss in all, like every time I get the jungle, if the boss is going to be the same at the end of the jungle. They do definitely get tougher as time goes on too. Like those flamethrower guys that keep popping up out of the ground were not there before. I'm trying to air kill a dude. Get your tickets here, huh? Tickets? Okay. Oh! What was that? I I have no idea what that was. I feel like I, I got into some other area and immediately died. The mini games are interesting too. I wish I could see more of them and and actually know what's going on when I get into them. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. I blew up two dudes at once. Really need this help. Let me back in. Never mind, I can't actually shoot that guy from in there. Alright. Got my tank. Got all these guys. Uh, I think 
I'm just gonna waste my yeah there we go. Waste the rest of that flamethrower ammo so that I can actually shoot that guy from range. Uh oh. Ow, I hurt a lot. Uh that's not what I need. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, regenerate me, please. Whew. Thank you, Gandalf. Alright. I want to try and get to the end of... Missions in one run. I want to try and get to the end of the jungle here. And see if we get anything different. Yeah, it definitely feels much better with the Mocha controller. Which is unfortunate for anybody that doesn't have one, but if you do have one, then that's pretty cool. I like the grenades a lot. I'm gonna try and keep getting ammo so I can keep the grenades. Because the ammo seems to go towards whatever... Yeah, blowing more choppers up. Seems to go towards whatever weapon you have out at the moment. Man, just knocking down choppers like crazy. It seems like the loud explosions, it just has a little bit of trouble dealing with those. The audio engine does. Air kill a dude, yeah. Man, blowing up choppers like crazy. Yo, DJ, drop that beat. Oh, I can change the song. Oh, there are only like three songs? Alright, well, we'll go with this one. Oh no, I picked up a flamethrower. Oh well, I guess I don't get to keep it in the next area anyway. Man, three three missions completed in this in just that one th or three objectives completed in just that one thing. Nice. Big badass at your location. Oh, I did keep the thing. Uh well, I don't want it. There we go. Oh. We do have a different enemy here. Guess I have to hit that thing. Oh, that hurts. Damn. All right, I have a continue. So that's good. Wow, I'm getting my ass beat here. Need health. I'm going to die again. There are no health pickups dropping at all. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Damn it. Ah. New personal best. Oh, well, at least I got to see that boss. Score 500 points, nice. I, I have an objective to play as Sly Rocco, which was the guy that I unlocked too. 
All right, so I'm going to wrap it up there, but thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Gunslugs. It's available for $1.99 on the iOS App Store uh, for or for $1.49 currently on the Google Play Store. There's also a free ad-supported version on the Google Play Store. I don't, I, I, I don't think there is a free version on iOS, but uh, I know there is on the Android Store. I believe that I shall give this game... Let's see here. I'm going to give it a 4. It's not impressing me quite as much as Meganoid did. Uh, the controls, the on-screen controls at the very least, felt a little bit iffy. Um, and there's not there's not a whole lot of depth to it, I'm feeling. Like, there's... I mean, there's that more button, but that just seems to open up the Play Store. Uh, and also make the... Uh... There we go. Uh, it does have a two-player mode, which I'm not able to test at the moment because that requires you to have two Bluetooth controllers, which I just don't have. Uh, but that could be interesting. But at the same time, it also seems like it might be a little bit weird trying to have two people watching your uh, your, your like phone screen, unless you've got like a Nexus 7 or something. Even then, that could be a little bit small. But it does feel like there isn't quite as much depth to this as I would have liked there to be. I was hoping for something a little bit more metal sluggish than than what I got here but it's still an enjoyable game it's still something that I I've, I have enjoyed quite a bit so far so yeah I think a, I think a four works for it pretty well still something that is very much worth a look uh, and as you can see there are you can see sort of like the little silhouettes of other guys that I have not unlocked yet more people still to unlock here uh, more more playable characters not much of a difference in the playable characters unfortunately but Whatever, at least there's something to unlock. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Lore. I will see you later.